Now, if you notice, you may have heard a little bit of hiss when we first, um, when I first started this video. I have my volume totally turned off now, so you hear no hiss. Now, I'm going to turn my volume on. You hear a little bit, okay? Now, one thing that you're not seeing in the picture of my pedal board here, I brought back, for the studio's sake, uh, a noise gate. It's a, a loop. It's a noise suppressor, and it's an effects loop. So, um, I take just my sunset, that one pedal where I have two overdrives, that's where any noise is going to happen. And I run just that pedal through this effects loop, which is a noise suppressor. Now I'm going to turn the noise suppressor off. It's a big difference. I just turned it on. Now, you might wonder why I would do that. Now I'll turn my volume totally down. To have a noise suppressor on the whole guitar rig, one, it would cut off my delays. You know, they wouldn't just be able to go on and on forever. Um, and it, it just, it, it sucks things out of your sound. But for the one pedal, the overdrive, it, it doesn't rob anything. And if it does, it's not audible to my ear or anybody else's that I've ever talked to. So that was something that I found on YouTube that some guy in a studio was doing. It's like, oh my God, that is such a great idea. So I've, I've got one. I don't use it live because live on stage, I just turn my volume down. And if I'm going to talk on the mic, then I'll bring the, the volume down on my pedal board with my volume pedal. Other than that, as soon as I'm done with the song, I bring my guitar down and uh, that cuts out most things, then I can bring it down. So it saves me some real estate on the pedal board. For years, I used that, for years. Um, and my pedal board was bigger even, and heavier, and uh, that got old. <laughs> it, took, it was on wheels and, uh, yeah, it was. It was. So I've, I've made a really compact pedal board here that uh, I can get my sound, I can run into my old Super Reverb, dummy load, speaker simulator, come back in, complete the rest of my chain into my recording DAW, and I feel like I'm live on stage, and it can be three o'clock in the morning, and I live, uh, I downsized, sold my house with studio and everything, downsized to a, a like an 800 square foot condo. It's perfect, it's like having a tiny house. Uh, and I can play at the volume you're hearing at three o'clock in the morning and no one hears it. It's like turning on the stereo at a volume loud enough to where no one else would hear it. And um, I don't even have to use headphones. It's great. In case you do live in a space that you have control over any remodeling or anything uh, or sound is a consideration, when I moved in here, I loved the beautiful hardwood floors, but I put thick, heavy, the heaviest carpet padding down, and some, some real nice carpet. And that does everything. And then I set my studio up in a, in a place to where I was going to get good sound, but it wasn't throwing sound in the direction I wanted to protect from them, you know, ever having to be bothered by anything that I was doing. Then we're both happy, okay? So... Once I have come back into my pedal board, gone into my volume, then into my delay, the reason I put my volume first is so I can do those guitar swells because when I turn the volume up and back down, I don't want, if the volume was after the delay, as soon as I turned it down, everything would stop. So I want to send my signal and turn it off, wah, and then it hits the delay and keeps going like a violin effect or a cello. And then finally, I go to the Eventide, the one on the top left, and I have that set up for my reverbs. Now, uh, there it's set to shimmer, so I'll show you what that sounds like. Let me turn up one of the delays off. 
then I'll turn the uh, octave off. Now, the shimmer is like the the black hole eventide their signature reverb they've they've got some flagship individual pedal boards one that's all reverbs one that's all modulation one that's all um, delays and one that's all pitch control and in the two eventide h9s that i have on my pedal board uh, i got the the max so i have every single sound from all of those four flagship units into those two boxes. The only difference is you can only have one thing on at a time. So of all of those lots of sounds, I can only, you know, with the two pedals have two. But I can set up a parameter to where I can cycle through. I have three of them set up that I can cycle through. And um, so that allows me access to, you know, like my favorite ones on both of them. So the one on the top that I have now where the shimmer is, that has like their black hole, which is their signature reverb. Um, it has that and like this almost synthesized sound, the shimmer. And those high frequencies, almost like angels in the background or, you know. Uh, now here's the black hole. I'll turn off the ping pong delay. Now, if I had the noise gate on everything, that trail that comes with the reverb would get choked out. Uh, it would really have an impact on degrading my, my signal and my sound. But having it just on that one unit, again, here it is when it's off. Here it is back on. So it's a real handy um, unit. And it's by Boss, and it's called Noise Suppressor NS2. And has a direct signal through and an additional loop. The, um, effects loop so you can find those online they're really good for that specific thing um, now I like the reverb at the end because it's gonna I don't want all that big wash of a sound going into everything else I'd end up with a puddle so that's kind of the icing on the cake that I add at the end then if you'll see the infinity that is my looper and it's a stereo looper and the thing i like about it it sounds really great and it's stereo and there's two channels so it has everything in the the real high quality loops that it records but it's midi so i can sync that up when i'm in the studio and be able to play uh, a midi track and uh sync up any kind of loop beat groove i can turn on my looper and it syncs with ableton so anything that i do i can loop i can basically just make one long guitar track my rhythm track any kind of beat that i use is there and then i can play i can i can trigger my looper to grab whatever rhythm guitar that I have. I can play lead over top of it. I can turn the loop off. I can erase the loop. Nobody knows. I just, you know, hold it down. I can create a new loop. There's two loops that I can do. I can make a huge wall of sound and create a long ambient piece and, and really have kind of a spaceship to drive. Um, everything within reach of my hands and my feet and it not interrupt my playing. So I would be happy to do an additional video with some screen sharing and some shots of how I've got my DAW set up and what all it does in a separate video. 
but I wanted to show people the video of my studio setup with this noise suppressor and um, I can um, add some photos of my um, Super Reverb amp and the dummy load and everything that I use in the Iconoclast. I can add those in and um, show you the setup with that at some point here in the near future. All right, but um, that's basically what goes on here in my little studio world. Um, it's, it's a nice setup. I'm really comfortable. I can do anything that I want from, you know, doing guitar lessons to making videos, coaching. I do a lot of different things. Um, but this is my ground zero, and during a pandemic, it definitely gives me something to do <laughs> from a lot of, from four different angles. Okay. All right. So thank you for watching and uh, take care and hope you enjoyed this. All right.